Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do a Zodiac's uh, check-in for this weekend. So if you're in the UK, you know we've got a long bank holiday weekend coming up. I'm in Istanbul right now <laughs> with my bestie. <laughs> She's waving. <laughs> All right, so um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Um, check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus signs as well. If you want to book a personal reading, the booking link will be in the description box below. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to start with air signs because I see an air. All right, so we're going to take a look at, we'll start with Libra. Okay, so Libra, this is going to be your weekend reading. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Some mocktail, guys. And you are that. Okay. So, Libra, <laughs> we have if you believe. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, Libra, this uh, bank holiday weekend, we have if you believe. All right. So, let's take a look. Yeah, I left one of my debt stars. <laughs> just it. Okay, no problem. Let's jump into it. Sorry, I realized I left one of my decks downstairs, but it's fine. It's just a quick check in anyway. Don't want to go on for forever. All right, Libra, so let's take a look at your weekend ahead. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Okay, so we've got Nine of Swords. Two of Swords, Page of Cups, and we've got Knight of Swords. I definitely feel like someone's up in their head about wanting to make communication with you. You could also be feeling the same way as well. This could also be your energy. And um, you just feel kind of stuck, um, not really sure, you know, is this person going to reach out to me? Should I reach out to them? Someone here I feel like really does owe you an apology. OK, um, and you should be receiving that apology this weekend or the communication you're kind of looking for with this Knight of Swords energy. Um, I think if you've been struggling to sleep, so has this person as well is what I'm picking up. But with three of cups on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person and you're going to be hearing exactly what you wanted to hear. OK, so let's take a look. Yes, we've got change. I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward in your connection and in this relationship. Look, we've got this main male here. All right. He feels like maybe, you know, you're too good to kind of just run away from, walk away from, you know, that they need to uh, speak to you. It comes out as a message as concern because I feel like you guys weren't ready for this type of communication. You guys weren't sure this communication was even going to come in. But they're going to surprise you. And I feel like because they are apologizing to you, it's like shocking you a little bit, you know? But we have secluded separation reflecting soul searching. So this is what this person has actually been doing. And I feel, I feel like maybe you have also caused this person to go into some type of soul searching and deep reflecting as well. All right. So, you know, when pigs will fly, they are flying this weekend. Okay. <laughs> you will be hearing from them. Uh, I'm going to pull you guys an angel message and I'm going to move on. Whoa, got a few. I'll take this one. We've got innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Okay, I think music is going to be a real big healer for you guys as well this weekend. So if you want to um, submerge yourself in kind of like your emotions or pull yourself out, inspirational music, whatever that is to you, please go for it, okay? You're going to feel a sense of healing this weekend. So we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Follow for more. It's not follow for more. We're moving on to the next one. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm so used to that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to Gemini. Just say follow for more. <laughs> friends laughing at me. <laughs> not used to <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at your weekend reading. What do we have for you, Gemini? So just a quick check-in. Okay, we've got remain positive. All right. So maybe you're feeling a little bit low or concerned about something or that something's not going to get better. It is. But you have to remain positive, okay? So let's see. What do we have for you this weekend, Gemini? Oh, we've got nine of cups. Wow, ten of cups. The devil. Four of pentacles. Okay, let's see. Wow, six of wands, page of pentacles. I feel like, Gemini, don't um, allow maybe some old negative thought patterns or um, learned behavior kind of stop you from feeling like you can achieve something, okay? There's some things that I feel like you're holding on to that's like really negative about yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself a lot of negative things. You're not really believing in yourself or your self-worth could feel quite low. But whatever it is that you've been praying for, hoping for, working on, um, you are going to be receiving that this weekend, okay? So that's why they're saying to you, it's good for you guys to remain positive because with the Three of Cups energy as well, you're going to be feeling like, yeah, you're going to be celebrating, you're going to feel happy. Um, some of you could be hearing about a job that you guys really want. This could also be a relationship. Okay, whatever this means to you, with this Page of Pentacles, there's going to be some type of offering towards your happiness this weekend. So it's all good, okay? Nothing to worry about. As they say, remain positive. Wow, we've got something that's honorable. We've got a journey coming up and we've got your community growing and we've got sun and wealth. Gemini, this is going to get really good, okay? I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this could be like a work contract or something like that, okay? Or your guys are going to be moving. You know, you're waiting to hear on a move. You're going to be getting that move this weekend, okay? So if you've been stuck in accommodation you're not happy with, you're going to be moving on up out of that as well, okay? So you should be getting that good news that you want. So be positive. If this good news is not coming in this weekend, then it will be within next week, all right? And that's why they're saying this weekend, we need you to just be positive. Okay, so we have news worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you can cherish, okay? So there is good news, and we've got reward yourself for all your hard work. Oh, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. So this is good, okay? You definitely will be showing a lot of gratitude this weekend, Gemini. Hmm? Yeah, I think some of you are just feeling really restricted, like you can't move, you can't leave. Okay, I feel like every time you get something, it's almost taken away from you, like, so you kind of feel like I'm never going to get that. I'm never going to get that abundance that I really want. Okay. And maybe before you were in a position where you received something, but then it was like just taken away. Okay. Or someone promised you something and you really wasn't going to get it. Okay. So you're definitely saying goodbye to all of this that's been going on and you're going to be moving forward to abundance. Okay. Mm. Oh, let me pull you an angel message. Ah, we've got go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since it's genius, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Oh, that's so nice. Well done, Gemini. So we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we've got Capricorn. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Okay, so that was Gemini. Hope you enjoyed that reading. We're now going to move on to Aquarius. So Aquarius, this is going to be your weekend reading. Let's see what we have for you. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And remember, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, so Aquarius, we have improving health and we do have success. 
Okay, so maybe you guys have been on a health journey you've, or you've been really thinking about changing your diet requirements, working out, quit smoking, quit drinking, cut down drinking. I mean, whatever it is, okay, you guys have really been trying to work on that and pursue that as well as having some success with whatever it is that you're doing, okay? So let's take a look, Aquarius. What do we have? Okay, so we have this King of Wands. We have Death. Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Oh, four of Pentacles. But the Empress and the Chariot. Okay, you guys have really sort of cried somebody out. You've let someone go. Someone is definitely in a place of suffering and really hoping that there's another opportunity that you guys will have at some point, okay? But with this ending here, it's like someone's really holding on to you, okay? Um, and I feel like you're the opposite of that. With this sort of Ten of, ten of Wands Empress energy, it's like you're not going to carry this weight or this burden anymore from this connection. I feel like you're done. You've released it. You've really realized like who you are, how beautiful, powerful, and amazing you are. Okay, and with this two of pentacles, I really feel like you guys have been sort of really trying to manage your money as best you can. I feel like you've had a lot of things to kind of juggle. But with this chariot here and this nine of pentacles looking at me, okay, your wealth is going to be increasing over this weekend. All right, you're going to be making a little bit more money or a lot of money. There's some type of career advancement here coming in for you, Aquarius. Okay, and I really feel like it's because you, you, you let this person go. You're not like blocking your blessings and you're going to see that, okay, you're receiving something as a result of doing that, okay? And with this Empress energy as well, it's like really taking care of your health, your foundation. You know, if you're not well, then your business or your, your, your career, your work won't be well, you know? Yeah, look, see, we've got this false person. We've got this wealthy man. Ooh. Let's see, Aquarius. Wow. Yes. Okay. So you've released this lover. They do come up as the false person, but there is someone here. There's a more mature person coming in. All right. And with your work environment, I feel like they're going to give you more work or they are going to give you a job or they're going to give you some type of advice on how to kind of increase your wealth as well. Okay. And with this lovers here, it's like, you're not going to sacrifice yourself, your time or your energy anymore for this connection. So you've done really well. Okay. Aquarius, you've done good. <laughs> okay oh wow okay see we got queen b here we got secure confident boss bitch career focus all right so that is what you're focusing on but you see this person here is worried they're losing sleep thinking about you okay so i feel like the tables have turned okay stay focused on your career this weekend it's going to get you very far all right do what you can and let's pull you one of these Let's go, Aquarius. What do we have for you? We have information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. Okay, so I feel like here you're going to be kind of truthful. There's more of an inquisitive kind of... Um, I feel like this is how you're going to be approaching somebody else. It feels like you need to speak your truth. Okay, so maybe there's there's something else that you still need to say to this person, all right? And they feel like, don't be afraid to do that. Um, I feel like you can do it with kindness as well because there's a coldness, I feel, that's kind of coming over you. So try to kind of release that as well. But we have, be assertive, don't back down for what you believe, courageously stand up for yourself. I feel like you're going to be saying this to two people, okay? I don't think it's just one. I think it's two. And let's pull you an angel message, Aquarius. We've got ask, ask us to help you in this situation. We will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request, okay? I even think some of you guys have asked for the strength to deal with this situation or you've asked God to like tell you which way to go or how do you release this connection? So stay tuned in, stay plugged in. You guys are on the right path. We've got chariots, oh, sorry. We've got Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer. 
All right, so that is my air sign. So now we are going to move on to uh, earth signs, okay? So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this is going to be your weekend read, right? It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs. Okay, uh, Capricorn. I said earth signs, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, what do we have for you over the next weekend? Oh, we've got within the next few weeks. Okay, so something is happening for y'all in the next few weeks. So I feel like this weekend the wheels are set in motion, things are happening, things are moving, even if you can't see or feel it. It is. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. We've got Eight of Swords. We've got the High Priestess. Oh. We've got the Emperor. And we've got the Empress. Judgment. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, Eight of Wands. And we've got the King of Pentacles. And we've got the temperance. Okay. Woof. There's a seesaw in here. Oh. Wow. Do you know what? I feel like there's something you guys have been waiting for for a long time. And it is really coming towards you now. I feel like you've been patient as best you can. I, I'm also feeling like this is... This could also be business as well. This is something that, because um, I feel like you guys are really grounded and situated in whatever it is that you're doing. And you've just almost sort of just been just waiting for something else, some new inspiration or, you know, a new business idea or something like that to kind of come through as well. I think as well for a lot of you, um, someone could really be, I feel like you've got two masculines here. Okay, it could be two feminines, but we've got two masculines who are, really thinking about you a lot right now i feel like they're in their high priestess energy right where they're feeling like all their sort of thoughts however guarded they felt towards the connection they're kind of moving past that now they almost want to be freed because they feel like they're imprisoned to you um yeah it just let me just get something else here because this is yeah, the star. You know, I feel like someone's choosing you. In fact, I feel like two people are choosing you this <laughs> this weekend, okay? Or they're having that acknowledgement of who you are in their lives, okay? And I feel like that's two masculines feeling that way about you, okay? So don't be surprised if in the next few weeks that both of them are coming towards you to say, this is what I want, this is what I want. They are going through this judgment where they know they need to make a decision about you really, really quickly, okay? Um, but again, you're in your Empress energy. So you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm praying, I'm relaxing, I'm doing my thing. You know, you're so focused on work right now. Um, and there's, like I said, there is this career advancement, but look at this, this tower is looking at me with this nine of cups. Okay. So this, to me, you guys are going to be getting some type of wish fulfillment and I feel like it's work and the love that you want. Okay. And I think someone's coming towards you to say, look, you're mine. <laughs> I want to be with you. This is what I'm doing to make it happen. Well, like I said, there's two of them. You are in demand, honey. <laughs> yeah, we got, look, a new pathway here is opening up. Wow, look at that with work, toil and labor. Whoa, privileged lady. This is what I'm saying. There's definitely a major ending that is coming. And this could be an end to you feeling poor, like not having enough money, not having enough love in your life. Like, it's literally all just coming at once. So please brace yourselves for the next few weeks. You make sure you have a great weekend because it's coming, all right? So let me look at your signs. All right, so we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, oh, and Aries, Cancer, yeah? Uh, let me get you one of these. I feel like you're really going to be choosing someone over the next few weeks, even though you think, oh, I might not be seeing anyone or no one's around me right now or whatever. But within the next few weeks, I feel like you're just going to be so shocked with that tower coming in that you're actually going to be choosing 
someone. <laughs> and I don't think you're too mad about it. Ooh. Yeah. Firestorm, okay? So someone's definitely got themselves into some type of trouble here. Someone could be told about a fake pregnancy um, or that they've had a child outside of a relationship. So there's this karma, dramatic ending, there's this loss. So I almost feel like someone's probably being freed from a connection, maybe because they weren't doing what they were supposed to do. Okay, this could also be around their business as well. But I also think a lot of this is fake. I don't think it's actually real. So someone could be trying to get revenge on your person for not choosing them before. Try not to let you absorb this, okay? Because I don't think it's anything to do with you. And I don't think it's true either, okay? So there's a lot going on in the next few weeks for this sign. Okay, we've got reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. I love it. And I'm going to pull you an angel message. Oh, wow. We've got relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract your or balance the relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And I feel like that's what I was saying before about your empress energy. I feel like that's where you're at. You're just literally focusing on yourself and you're not looking outside of yourself to any of these relationships right now. So keep doing that because you will see this is all going to be brought to you, okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm going to move on to Taurus now. So this is your uh, weekend check-in. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Make sure my mic is on. Are you on? Okay, so let's see. What do we have for you, Taurus, this weekend? Oof. Okay, Taurus, we have improving health and we have let go. <clears throat> All right, so it's important that you take good care of yourself. Don't overdo it this weekend. All right, don't overdo it, honey. All right, so let's see. What do we have for you, Taurus? Oh, we've got three of cups. We've got the full. Ace of cups. Seven of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Wow. You know, I think a lot of you guys are really celebrating something when it comes to work. Even if it's just you feeling good about what you guys have been doing or working on. Or some of you feel like you want to present something that you've been working on to the world, honey. Okay, yes, because I feel like you've had some setbacks when it comes to work. Um, I feel like you've really had to put your foot down. I think you've had to, you know, really speak your truth and say, no, I want to do it this way. Um, maybe you've got a lot of backlash as well, of people just kind of being really mean and horrible to you. Maybe you're on social media and you've had to take some negative comments. Maybe this could also be from like friends and family and things like that. But whatever you've been holding on to, at least you've still been working quietly in the background. And now you just get to take that leap of faith and move forward as well. OK, there is someone coming in to rush you into a relationship or a commitment of some kind. But I feel like you guys have been, I don't know, I feel like you've been here before with them. Um, and I don't know if you're sort of in a place of walking away from them at this time anyway. And then they kind of come rushing in. Yeah, we've got marriage. Oh, what you got toil and labor as well with your work. <laughs> but it's raining. <laughs> it is raining. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, look, we do have this message of concern. Yeah, it's almost like this person is just saying, look, let's go be together. Let's have a family. Let's do this. Let's do that. But at the end of the day, you're focused on work. All right. And I feel like you're getting to a place where you don't. I feel like you've always wanted this person to say, marry me or have a commitment. But now when it comes, you're kind of feeling like, no, actually, I want to take care of myself. You're going to get some good news about your business. I feel like they are saying, let go. Let go of this person. All right. Thank God we came inside. <laughs> Attributes out there. <laughs> so this is good, Taurus. If 
it's raining in Istanbul. Well, we had some sun earlier. It's the best we could hope for, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we've got bumping heads. But I've, ooh, okay. but I feel like this is more you going back and forth in your own mind about keeping this person. But look, see, we come in with this sweet talk. You know that there's nothing behind what this person is saying to you, okay? It's just all a load of rubbish, really and truly. You don't want it. I'm going to pull you an angel message. We've got giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimum, for optimal health and energy and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Okay, so just stay in that kind of energy of giving and receiving. I feel like you guys are really spending time around animals, pets, things like that this weekend where, you know, they don't, I feel like with animals, you know, you just, you love them. You love them unconditionally and you feel like you don't need to fight for their affection or their love, you know. So just stay nestled in with your lovely pets, okay. We've got, uh, da, 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 Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. We've got Aries. All right. So now we're going to move on to Virgo. So this is going to be your weekend check-in, Virgo. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs. Oh, Virgo. Okay, so we've got reconsider. All right, so let's take a look. feel like your guides want you to reconsider something. Or maybe someone's asking you to reconsider. You're like, no. Okay, so we've got this King of Cups and we've got Judgment. So, yeah. <laughs> Seven of Wands. <clears throat> and we've got the Fool. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But, yeah. Don't rush into this. Look at that. The bottom of the deck is the Devil. Please do not give this person a second, a third, a fourth, a five, a, a sixth chance all right, this person is emotionally abusive, I feel like. And I feel like your spirit guides and angels are begging you, like, please do not. Like, what are you doing? Don't go back to this person. You need, Even if they're really good <clears throat> at spinning something with you and making you feel like you should just take this leap of faith, really don't do that. Is this leaking? Oh, no, is it from my drink? It's from my... Yeah, they're really asking you to not jump in feet first, okay? They need you to uh, take a step back and just reconsider. Look, even at the bottom of the deck looking at me, it's the Knight of Wands. This person is only coming in to take advantage of you in the bedroom and then leave, okay? That's all they want. But they're coming back as if they're official or that they've changed or they've moved on in some way. Can you close that for me? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. or you to... No, you can't, can you? Leave it, leave it, leave it. No, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 leave it. <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> leave it. Oh. Yeah, you know what as well? Maybe this person wants you to take a trip with them. Maybe they want you to kind of um, be okay. Be careful. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I feel like they want you to like, maybe they want to take you away this weekend or they want to take you on a trip of some kind. And they're like, look, just come, we'll do this. Don't do it. All right. They're just trying to get you alone, have their wicked way with you and then kick you to the curb when they're done. All right. This is not, this is not going to be good for you, Virgo. Please reconsider. Oof. Look, karmic ties. Okay, you're just going to go round and round in circles with this person. This is like cycles, lessons, triggers. Don't let this person trigger you all over again, all right? We don't want that for you guys. Right, I'm going to pull you an angel message. And we have acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angel with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Okay, so sometimes you just have to accept the situation as it is, okay? You can't change this person. 
And you know what? A weekend away is not really going to show you, okay, how this person has changed. It takes time to see those things. So please just don't rush. That's, if that's the least you can do, just don't rush. We've got Sagittarius, we've got Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to my water signs. <sighs> getting there, getting there. <laughs> All right, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, let's take a look. <laughs> We have abundance, Cancer. This is amazing. <laughs> My friend's a Cancer Moon over there, so she's going, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, we've got abundance coming in, Cancer. It's a long time coming, I'm hearing. Okay, this is amazing. It's just like you're opening your hands and you shall receive, honey, okay? All right, so let's take a look at your weekend read. My lovely cancers, so starting off to a good start, honey. Oh, we got this emperor here. Oh, okay. It's Queen of Swords. So, like, you ain't fucking with them no more. Yeah, look, four of cups. <laughs> Turned your back. You're like, no, nah, I don't want no more of that. No, nah, it's stale. I want it. We got the lovers. Uh oh. All right, cancer, let's see. Five of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow. And we've got the Three of Pentacles. Okay, okay. Ooh, and we've got a King of Cups here. All right, so I think you're going to be receiving a message that is really quite sweet. Sweeter than what you're kind of used to, okay? I feel like there's an Emperor here who's really fighting for your attention or just trying to get you to fight with them in some kind of way. Um, I feel like you have turned your back and cut this person off with a vengeance or just said your piece. Doesn't even have to be a vengeance. You say your piece and say, look, I'm done now. This Queen of Pentacles, I really feel like you're focusing on home, family, your foundation, stability, money, things like that. Okay, and although this person is going to be coming towards you with another offer, you're bored, you're over it, you're done, you don't want to see how you can work on things with this person, but the person you really want to hear from now, okay, but I kind of think this person low-key is a little bit obsessed with you, so I don't know how, you know, it's not bad if they're obsessed, but um, they could also be mirroring you of what you want to hear because maybe normally the communication could be a little bit more jovial or it could be more um bedroom based but now i feel like they're trying to appeal to your softer side which i still feel like you kind of need to be careful of when it comes to this person let me see yeah but you are moving away from that okay um you know what, some of you, this person's going to be genuine when they're speaking to you. And for others of you, they're really just trying to get back in there, okay? Because that devil energy, it's almost like this person feels like you belong to them no matter what as well. But you are going to be feeling happy, okay? And I feel like you are going to hear what you want to hear. Even if you're not going to get what you want to get out of this person this weekend, you're going to hear what you want to hear at least. All right? So I think you guys are going to be feeling good. Oh, yeah, we've got official person. Maturity, the wealthy man, mature man, main male. This is what I mean. You got, <laughs> you got a lot of people that kind of like you. So it wouldn't surprise me this weekend if you don't hear from a few people, all right, where you've been on their mind and they want to make an honest woman out of you, okay? Or they want to at least get back to that reconnection phase. Again, a lot of you are just going to have your head down working, okay? Creating this abundance so this can come in for you this weekend as well, all right? But yeah, if you're out and about, Cancer, y'all might be meeting some people this weekend as well, all right? So I feel like your dating pool is going to widen. You might decide to cut all of these people off and go with someone completely new that is coming in this weekend, which I am getting that energy as well for some of you, okay? I miss you. Oh, you got some people here who miss you. Like I said, I don't think it's just one. Look at that, effed up over you. All right. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, let's just pull you one of these, Cancer. I feel like you guys should just stay in your happy energy, go out, enjoy yourself, be at home, be with family, whatever it is to you. And just, you know, 
these people are going to holler. Okay. We have do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships and long-term projects. So if you are home this weekend, that's what you need to be focusing on, okay? Maybe you guys want to study something. Maybe you want to take a class. Maybe you want to start a new business. Maybe you want a new job. But there's research to do. So keep your mind busy. So we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini. I'm going to pull you a little angel message here. Again, we oh we got entrepreneur or self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Okay, so this is good. Stay focused. All right, so now we're going to move on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, this is going to be your weekend reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs. All right, let's see. What do we have for you, Pisces? Whoa. I'll take them. <sighs> okay, Pisces. We have success, we have trust, and we have abundance. So this is nice. You're going to be feeling good. I feel like there's a result that you guys have wanted or you've wanted to see. This could be in your body. I wonder why I'm hearing, like, this could be something to do with your body. Maybe you guys have been working out a lot and you're seeing some type of results that you wanted to see. Uh, you're trusting in your higher self. feel like your intuition is really speaking to you right now. You could have recently had a baby. I'm picking up on someone who's recently had a child. And maybe you've been working out after that pregnancy and you're starting to feel really good about yourself again, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, so we've got abundance. All right, so let's see, Pisces. Page of Swords. You guys could also be hearing about a pay raise, um, a salary increase of some kind. So we've got Page of Swords. We've got the Moon. Six of Cups, Four of Swords. All right, so let's take a look, Pisces. I think some of you are really wanting to walk away from a connection. Maybe this connection has gone stale. Maybe you feel like you're not even intimate with this person anymore or you're not really connected to them the way you kind of used to be. Um, and so you're, you're really just sort of saying, like, do I need to stay here? Do I need to leave? Even if it's about, even if, say, some of you have had a child, you know, maybe that connection from before that still wasn't what it was before you got pregnant right um so i think some of you guys are kind of just juggling you know what do i do how do i move forward you're really trying to keep out the dark thoughts um but there's something coming towards you where i feel like it's bringing you some money it's bringing you some abundance or it's giving you an opportunity to take your mind off of things okay someone could be inviting you into a partnership or a business deal or something like that this could also be your person who is trying to keep you yeah but he's a false person all right he's doing someone's doing something so that you do, either you don't leave you don't find out something Okay, but take the money, honey. <laughs> take the abundance, baby. All right? <laughs> yeah, see, look, we've got this unexpected income here. So I feel like your partner could be getting some money and then they're trying to also give you some money. Be careful, though, because they, I feel like your person really wants to be with someone else. There's someone else that they're admiring, someone else that they're looking at all the time. But now they're trying to come across to you like you're, you know, they're all official and they mean right by you. So really just trust in your intuition okay as much as you possibly can but you do have success coming through so at least you can feel good about that you know this person might even be thinking about proposing to you but even then it's no like i say i don't trust them and guess what neither do your spirit guides yeah we've got being ghosted hot and cold detached this is what i'm picking up this is something to do with your connection and your person is pretending to be busy or that they're, they're going out of their way to do things so that they don't have to spend time with you and stuff like that, which is not nice. 
Okay, but what are you going to do? Leave their ass. No, I'm joking. I take that time <laughs> to think about it. All right. I feel like there's parents here or there's family that's giving you money. They're selling a property. I just pick it up on this abundance around you that you're going to get. And maybe you've been wanting to leave and move and you haven't, you know, you don't have the means to do it. But it's coming in. So we have a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress can be made. Yeah, this could be even like a business venture with your family or something. But this is good. I like it. It's the positivity I feel like you guys need. So we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Angel message, please. See only love. Look past the semen errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings. And see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlines every situation it brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So this is nice. And see, look, focusing on children here. Just focusing on children, love, family, home. You'll be all right. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Scorpio. This is going to be your, your reading, Scorpio. This is your weekend read. I know it's raining. <laughs> but I kind of like it. I'm waiting for the thunder because that's my favorite thing ever is the thunder. <laughs> Not to be out in it, but just to sit by it. Okay, so let's... Ooh. All right, Scorpio, what do we have for you? We've got no and yes. Okay, I can see why you're confused. <laughs> but this no, maybe you're fighting yourself going, yes, this is the right thing. Yes, let me do this. And your spirit guides and angels are saying, oh, hell to the no, no, no. Okay, so let's see <laughs> what's going on. Why are you fighting yourself and your spirit guides? Let's see, Scorpio. Ooh. All right, we've got four of cups, three of cups, high priestess, queen of swords, four of swords. Mm -mm, don't wake no one up from the dead. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> don't bring someone back to life if they don't need to come alive, okay? Yeah, four of pentacles. I think as well, Scorpio, you haven't finished, you know, with this person yet. And, and it could be that you haven't finished saying your piece. You've been holding on to a lot of stuff. Um, it could be that every time this person approaches you, you get the same of the old thing and then you end up in this kind of like separation kind of phase with this person. But I think for a lot of you, this might not be one particular person. I'm getting a vibe of like, this is the story you tell yourself, you know. I choose people that's not available. Oh, nobody wants me. Da, 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 that kind of thing. And so I just feel like it's more of the same. Some of you could like have your heart out on reaching out to somebody. Okay, but I feel like this person is, yeah, look at that. We've got judgment. Yeah, so with this judgment, ace of cups, chariot, magician, I feel like this is you're moving forward this weekend and you're saying, I don't want this BS no more with these situations with these people. You're saying, I want real love. I want to move forward. And you just feel like you've got all the tools that you need, okay, to not get sucked into another rubbish connection or a connection that really isn't going anywhere. So I think you're going to feel really in charge of your own destiny this weekend, which is really good. I feel like with this high priestess and three of pentacles, you've just been like a side chick or you've been hidden away and, and you just don't want that anymore. You don't want to be that secret person. Or even if you haven't been on the side, it's like nobody's ever put you at the front. You know, like no one's ever called you their girlfriend or something like that. And I feel like now you're just as painful as things must have been for you recently. Now you're just like, I don't care. This is what I want. And I'm moving away from all of that. So I really like this for you guys. This is like you really changing your karma as well. Yeah, you're being more careful with this courtship and maturity. It's like you're using wisdom now of the type of people you want to date. And look at that. What's next? Main female. You want to be the only one, right? And then you've got a message of concern here where someone is just trying to pull you back in. And you're just like, uh-uh, nope. Okay, but this person, I feel like they have a family you know, this person is just not for you. They've built their life somewhere else. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this is an old story that you don't want to tell yourself anymore. 
and good for you, okay? It's like to check it's still on because sometimes, oh, you know. Okay, so we have take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. So really just sort of stay in this energy. You've also got your focusing on your passions here as well. Um, and so maybe you're really making plans, maybe you're looking at life insurance plans and things like that for your children. You know, really just stay, stay in that energy, okay? Don't allow these people here to mess with you. All right, because this is all part of thinking about your future and building a better future. Maybe your parents didn't take out life insurance on you and things like that, and you want to do things differently for your child. It's all good. That should be there. Well, it came out. What is it? Oh, soulmates. Oh, <laughs> this is what you want. This <laughs> is what is supposed to be in that debt. But this is what you want, and this is what you deserve. But we have have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and will buoy your courage and faith. This is it. Get grounded. You could do it, Scorpio. I'm really proud of you. And this is, you know, it's not the easiest space to be in when you say, I want more, and you actually have to live that, you know, and not slip back into something that feels familiar to you or comfortable. So, yeah, congratulations, actually. I'm proud of you. So we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we've got Pisces, Cancer. All right, so that leaves us with our fire signs. All right, let's go. So we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to be your weekend reading. I know, guys, it's gone on a bit longer than I would before, but it's all good. All right, Aries, what do we have for you? It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs. All right, Aries, how is your weekend going to go? Within the next few months. All right, so the wheels are in motion. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Something is happening for you guys. And let's take a look. Oh, you know what it is? I feel like you guys are so close to something right now. You know, like when you're at the stairs and you can see like the top of where you're going or those doors. It's like you're just getting closer and closer. I love it. So let's have a look. And not the pearly white gates. You ain't out of here yet. <laughs> not those doors. <laughs> Not those doors, all right? All right, so let's see, Aries. What does your weekend hold for you? Justice. Yeah, nice. Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands. Six of Wands. The Fool, Aries, this is your card. You're here twice. You're all over it. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Wow. Okay, so Aries, I don't even know if this is really about you taking a leap of faith this weekend or you've already taken this leap of faith and it's literally about to pay off. This is money, blessings, abundance, okay? Yeah, two of swords. So wherever you kind of felt a little bit confused or if something wasn't going to happen for you and you're like, oh, this isn't really going to work out or this isn't going to happen, it's definitely happening, all right? I feel like within the next few months you're going to be in a completely different space yeah with this ten of swords um with the seven of cups nine of cups i feel like there's no more confusion you're over the worst of it now the sun is coming out you're feeling really good about yourself you're coming out of this nine of swords kind of worry sort of energy maybe you walked away from someone and some things and it's just really stressed you out you know your guard has been up heavily but i feel like you guys have enough now to move forward and someone's presenting you yeah look at that there's a whole rebirth here and I feel like this is coming from two people. So I think some of you could be receiving some apologies, some sweet messages, but also in another direction for you guys to go in as well. And someone's making an offering to you. Look at that. Great fortune and a new pathway. Someone's saying, here, look, have this. Look at that. Change. Career advancement. Someone's saying, here, have that. Move forward. Yeah, adjudication. 
All right, this is about negotiation. This is about fair settlements. This is about, you know, what is right for you, okay? Um, and not just taking what you get. It's just what is right for you. Yeah, you're going to be making this decision. You're going to be using a lot of thought. You're going to be super intelligent about it, okay? There's a lot of negotiations coming up for you guys, okay? This is good. I also feel like someone's coming in to plead their case with you. You're like, mm, really? They be coming. You're living in the moment. All right? You're enjoying yourself. You know, whatever's going on around you, you're realizing this weekend you can't control it. There's nothing else to do but to enjoy your weekend, okay? Because we have a love message. So someone is coming in quite sweetly to you. And I think there's at least three. Aries. I feel like you've got three people that are besotted by you, that think you're totally amazing, that are really coming in to win your heart this weekend. I feel like even two of them are not backing down without a fight. You know, they're coming. They want a rebirth with you. They want to win. All right. And I feel like within the next three months, your bank account is going to be looking fat. All right. And I feel like as well, you're going to be um, deciding you're going to choose someone. All right. And this could also be someone completely new that is coming in as well, Aries, because I am getting that new vibe energy as well. Maybe some of you have really wanted to meet someone lately, someone that who you feel like is just for you. And I feel like they're coming with this justice energy. All right. They could also be a fire sign as well. We'll definitely have that in their chart. We've got the sun. Maybe they're a Leo. We've got plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to great rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings in life. I can't wait for you guys, Aries. Y'all deserve it. All right, so we're going to move on to... Oh, wait, let me read out the signs, honey. Scorpio, uh, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra. Oh, change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our gratitude. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcome you desire. You know what? You've changed the course. Okay. You've, you've removed something out of your life so that you have, I feel like you've, you haven't blocked your blessings. Whatever was blocking your blessing, if there was someone here that you needed to just kind of get out the way, okay, so that you could receive more love and abundance, you've done that, all right? And they have acknowledged that. And they're like, yep, you did the right thing. Now, here you go, here you go. All right, let's move on to my Leos. This is going to be your weekend reading, honeys. Not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. All right, Leo, we've got, wow, within the next few weeks, and we've got opportunity. You okay? Yeah. We've got next few weeks, and we've got opportunity. Okay, Leo. Like, everyone's doing kind of good, pretty much. Mm. Wow, so we've got three of cups, queen of swords, seven of wands, five of swords, three of wands, five of cups, the lovers, and we've got queen of pentacles. You know what? You've, you've just pushed someone away. You said, I don't want nothing to do with you. I feel like you've cut them off. You're focusing on work. Some of you might own a business with this person as well. Or you might even work with them, okay? And so it's some horrible things might have been said over this weekend. But I feel like you guys are clearing that path and moving forward. I feel like you guys are trying to get away from this person. All right? And have your own. All right? You're not living in the past. I don't know. I feel like you felt like there was more chances available to you with this person. But now you're realizing, like, something's happened. And now you're like, no. Even if I wanted there to be a chance of this person in the past, now I don't want it which I think is a really powerful and strong place to be in. You guys are going to be celebrating, okay? So if you are on your grind, look at that six of pentacles here. And we've got queen of wands. Stay confident no matter what is going on, even if you feel like this situation is here to bring you down um, or so that you don't get anywhere, it's not going to happen, all right? You look at these friends that you have around you, okay? 
these are people that want to help you so within the next few weeks get ready for this opportunity like i said don't let your life state dip if it does dip what do you do to pull yourself out of it to feel better all right because there is going to be justice here in this situation for sure and it's only going to take a few weeks how about that <laughs> Look at that. I'm telling you, this is something to do with your work, occupation. You see this man behind you? He can't stop you. Okay? He felt like he was putting you on a journey to end your business or to end your job or to end something that you've worked hard for in your life. Okay? But at the end of the day, he's going to be left out in the cold and looking really stupid. Okay? Stupid. The devil isn't going to win. And that's all I keep hearing. The devil ain't going to win. Queen B, secure, confident, boss, bitch, career focus. This person can't stop your hustle. They cannot. All right? They're going to try, but they can't do it. Happy news about your career, promotions or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get along. So just tell your people around you what you need, you know, in order to sort of inspire you or to just keep the momentum going. And we've got ARX. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await for your request, ask. Don't try and do this all by your small self. Call in your guides. I think you've called in your friends and people, but call them in too, all right? They're waiting. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. What do we have for you this weekend? Okay, Saj. We've got listen to your intuition. All right, Sagittarius, darling. Listen to your intuition. Four of Cups. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Ten of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Oh, Sagittarius, I just think you're dealing with someone who's really childish, okay? And the little breadcrumbs they did offer you, you got really excited and happy about it. You felt like you won a prize forgetting that actually you're the prize, all right? You've invested way too much time and energy and love into this to just only be handed, you know, something so small and insignificant. This person, I don't think you can take seriously. You've been dropping your guard bit by bit for this person, but it needs to go all the way back up, okay? You need to be in prison. <laughs> you got to lock yourself up so that you don't go near this person anymore, okay? They're not right for you. Yeah, look, Nine of Swords, you're just in all this panic and worry. Hangman, Jesus. Listen to your intuition, okay? I think over the next few days, you really need to look at how you're perceiving this relationship and this person. I feel like you're not aligning with what you want out of a relationship to what this person's actually going to give you. I feel like you're attaching what you want to a specific person and not to what you actually want, like the outcome of a relationship with somebody. And I feel like this is kind of making you confused. It's upsetting you. It's hurting you. All right. I think this person can talk a good game. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they know what to say. They act as if they're so concerned about you, okay, but they're just really not. They might also have some legal issues that they're going through as well that they don't really want to tell you about. But you do have this communication coming through from them. Oh, excuse me. You've got communication coming through from them, but you also have someone else, all right? If this person even is just passing through, but they're nice, they're kind, they're treating you well, just enjoy it for what it is. Try not to get so attached to people straight away. I feel like you're not giving people the chance to, you know, 
see them for who they really are with time you know you're just believing everything about them straight away or their promises or their rubbish you're just kind of all in Sagittarius and I get it with I'm a fire sign we we are like all or nothing <laughs> you know what I mean but we've got to give things time to really see who these people are yeah we've got closing this cycle so really try and work on that this weekend okay because you do deserve better and I'm gonna pull you an angel message Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspiration. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. That's nice. Woo, guys, I'm done. Oh, this is a long one, but we made it. All right, so guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Uh, I know it's raining, but it is still quite beautiful and it will pass. Uh, take care, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you soon. Cheers.